Okay, so on the, what Stevens presented is on a large scale. Our next speaker is someone who will be presenting um, her home farming home in a very small scale. And what she's doing kind of rounds up everything that we've talked about from uh, dignity of the aged, family structures, and being gracious, etc. I like to introduce my mother. She is the epitome of future me. As in, come here, mother. <laughs> future me is a mindset. Doesn't mean you're 74 years old. You're locked in the past. Okay. Don't, don't worry. Okay. 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 No. When you're 36 years old, it doesn't mean you're locked in the past. She is doing a public presentation for her first time. So she is moving and trying new things, and she's going to talk about a home um, that we all have had. Take it away, Ma. This is a one kind house. But before we start on one kind house, I would like to tell you about my family. My parents, with my sister and me. But my father, being greedy, six is not enough. So he times two, and then we had 12. <laughs> and then I happened to be number one. So this when they were young, not many, but it grew. As the years go by, it grew. And well, we like to dress up. I think that was Kelly's sister. My father, being very outgoing, he likes to dress up too. Santa Claus. With black, red blanket, red stockings. And he carries a bag, but not of goodies. You need to buy his goodies. He doesn't give goodies to the children. He buys. You have to buy from him. That was him. It's both sad, but we're quite happy that he did it this way. He was on his last stage, cancer. He wanted to go to China, but he couldn't make it. So what he did? Dress up in coat on a warm day and make my mother dress up too. I think he just wanted to made my mother be <laughs> peace of my mother. <laughs> the, tradition, the tradition is still alive. That was our Star Wars uh, Christmas party. We all dressed up, made of cardboard and anything, mop, and <laughs> you saw me? <laughs> it's hilarious, right? But it's fun. Oh, and that one, we love to laugh. That's my sister drawing on her husband's face. He was sleeping. When he woke up, he's a different man. <laughs> we also like to eat, and we had a lot of cooking together. These are my brothers, and we, like Dylan, did the big lap chow. It's a competition of cooking. One of my brothers has perfected his cooking skill, and now he is going to Rose pit, preparing for his future. We grow about 40% of our greens. This is on top of Kelvin's apartment, the rooftop. We have flowers and also we have herbs and vegetables. There are ladies' finger, kangkong, uh, kale, and other vegetables too. Even we have a uh, basil and all those herbs too. Oh, this was taken for a shoot, some kind of shoot we had in the, and then we always have fun. That was about a few years back. So what is one kind house? We want to farm. We want to be past, present, and future. We want to be sustainable. We want to be part of the community. We champion ideas. We want to help young artists, chefs, inventors, dreamers, and doers. We want our kids to meet interesting people. 
this is my house before renovation. And that is during the renovation. It's an old house. This is the kitchen. That is the uh, renovated kitchen, partly renovated, and we had meals in the kitchen. Yes, that's our kitchen. We had it big because our family is so big. Oh, that's a staircase. Before renovation, after renovation, we put the pipes. This is a, uh, upper story, the front part. We just push it out a bit. There's the staircase down. We've planted greens along the fences with these boxes. These are recycled wood. Those we find in the, on the, uh, the outside, the tables and chairs. So we're going to plant greens. And these are the boxes. You can plant about 1,000 plants, if possible. Uh, this outside where we have the hydroponics is coming up. Oh, it has a past, present, and future. Those are patchwork done by my mother, and I took it to me on the chair pad. So it's a bit of the past and a bit of the present and a bit of the future. That is our kitchen. And the tables are made of recycled wood. We had a, our dinner. Was this a master chef? Not yet. <laughs> There's a dog. And that's the, the pathway to the driveway. That's our toilet. We buy the bowls from Dragon Inn. We have the fences, and they, those are plant boxes. And we intend to grow climbing plants like stream beans and butterfly pea. Oh, these are the wood we panel it so that you let in sun and air in, and also we recycle wood. So what has happened so far? <laughs> That's our Christ, a Chinese New Year. Only part. These are the girls. Only. These are the contestants for the Master Chef, and they each brought a dish, and we shared our food. See, everyone's happy eating. And this one, uh, edible, edible Gardens cooking class, they came and I taught them uh, chicken curry and they had to do everything with their hands, cutting the, <coughs> peeling the potatoes, pounding the spices and squeezing the coconut juice all in and they helped to cook and then they enjoyed themselves. Anyway, anybody interested in cooking class can come and see me later on. <laughs> oh, upstairs we have this swimming. Of course, my granddaughter, they, she likes uh, sewing. So we, has, we can do some sewing classes there. This one, Calvin has a hackathon. I don't know what he's hacking, but he has a class of hackathons. What if everyone created their own one kind house? One kind house, one kind family, one kind people, one kind society, and one kind country. That's how we be one kind. Always remember to be one kind. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Oh, so heartfelt. Um, so, you know, future my, me is a mindset. That's, even though we're going back to the past, we're also reaching out towards the future and we have to bring everyone. And I, I think the conversation today has been really good. It's all about sustainable living. It's also about the people. It's also about values. It's also looking after everyone, the elderly and all. And um, 
I mean, for my mom, fantastic that she goes, this is a family house that has so much meaning and all. She goes, let's keep it and let's try something. And I haven't paid her rent for that house yet. <laughs> but I, I think that's what we should aspire and move on. Regardless of whether you live in a house or apartment or it's the spirit that we have to keep alive.